All right, today we're gonna do another axe. It's gonna be a wall hanger this time. I don't, I don't think I've ever done a wall hanger video yet. So the head I got picked out is this um, Kelly Tasmanian. It's a world's finest dandenong, and uh, it's a Canadian one, made in Canada. It's been somewhat refurbished. The guy I got this from painted it and made it kind of look like it's original state. So I don't want to use this because it's painted and it's in really good condition. So, um, so that's the head I'm going to do. Um, and the fact that it's a wall hanger, I picked, I picked this handle that, uh, it's got this right here. So I wouldn't use this handle as a user handle um, because of that. But the fact that this is a wall hanger, this might actually like kind of make it look kind of cool. And it doesn't matter that it's taken away from the integrity of the handle. So this handle is really roughed out. This, uh, you can tell it just came off, off the lathe. It still has all the grooves. The eye is still really fat. Uh, so I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw and trim it up and start getting the head fitted. So stay tuned. All right, I got this thing pretty much all the way fitted. I had to take off a bunch of material, but uh, we got it pretty much all the way there. It's coming down right there right now. Uh, after I sand everything, it'll come down a little farther. But yeah, next step is to sand this handle and get it looking pretty good. So I'll put it on time lapse again and kind of show you what it looks like after I'm done. Alright, got her all sanded. Uh, we're getting ready to burn it. I'm going to burn this thing, cut the curve. And uh, yeah, then we'll be ready to put the head on. I'm going to change this palm swell a little bit. It's got a chip right here, so I'm probably going to cut it, do like a swooping cut like that. So yeah, let's get the kerf done and we'll burn it. thing I wanted to say is this is a Canadian axe head on a Canadian handle. Uh, Colby Owens is the guy that made, made this handle. This was one of his uh, defected handles. I bought a bunch of them 
and I mean that's the reason why it was defective so they make good wall hanger handles so here we go I'm gonna get the head on and then I'll then I'll dress up the palm sole after the heads on I'm not going crazy with it because it's just a wall hanger act, so I'm not, I mean, it's on there and it's seating really nice, but that's what she's looking like. All right, let's pick out a wedge. I'm going to use one of these nice, nice wedges. Probably one of these. I'll leave that one. Try to maybe find something that kind of matches. Probably that one. This is the wedge we're going with. All right, let me get this thing, let me get the wedge fitted. All right, here we go. I trimmed this down a little bit and I wallered out the curve a little bit more because it was kind of thin. No glue, just in case I wanted to save this wedge or, you know, save the handle or something and put it on a different, um, change it, I could, you know, if I glued it, then it's kind of permanent. Try not to scratch that paint. This is kind of out of my personal collection. Wasn't really planning on selling this one, but I mean, everything's for sale, I guess. If you had like, if you had a grip of money and were interested in this thing, I'd, I'd kind of be open, open to offers. That's all, that's as far as I'm going. Usually I like to get them down, you know, more than that, but uh, I started cracking this wedge and I don't want to mess up what it's going to look like after I cut it off. So I'm going to cut it off and I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. All right, here we go. That's what the wedge look, is looking like. Palm swell. I really like uh, these Coley Owens handles because they have like this swoop right here and I think that just looks awesome. It makes the whole axe look better, that little swoop right there and it holds your hand real nice. So we're ready for oil. Here we go.
This handle, the um, the grain on it's really cool. It's got like this, all these circles right here. And uh, this spot right here, I'm just gonna kind of leave it. I'm, I don't know, I'll let a bunch of oil get down in there. Yeah, look at the grain on this thing. This thing is awesome. And I'll probably laser engrave it. I'll laser engrave my logo in the palm still.